hi guys how are you doing welcome to my youtube channel this is regina space and my name is regina karibu sana today i want to share how 2021 has been for me so basically sharing my wins and losses for the year you know basically taking a stock of uh 2021 and i believe that you're also doing the same we are in the festive season and i know you are excited about you know bringing the year to an end but it's always good to take a moment and look back um, at how the year has been so that you can be able to re-strategize as the new year begins in january as you set new resolutions you set new goals new ambitions and visions for yourself so i'm going to be sharing my wins i'll begin this with uh, my wins for the year because again you have to be positive you look at the glass as half full not as half empty so i'm going to start with my wins one of the wins that i'm so proud about and this is a goal that i had you know put for myself um uh, when the year was starting is that i wanted to grow close to god and i've been able to do that uh during this year this year i've been able to grow in prayer i've been able to grow in reading the word of god in holding you know spiritual fast just to pray about my life to pray for my family to pray for my visions for my goals so proud that i was able to do that because again um i mean walking with the christ it's an everyday experience and it's a very live experience so you face the challenges you face the temptations sometimes you know you are not just just in that space that you feel that um your walk uh with god is right the other win for me there's a project that we've been wanting for a number of years to to do and uh, for some reason you know or the other we were not able to do it but this year we've been able to actualize it uh is opportunities so this year i mean this year has been a mix of both eh? losing out some opportunities and getting some which i'm really proud and happy about i've gotten numerous opportunities this year numerous offers but of course you have to look at the offer itself analyze it and see whether it fits your life and whether it's something that you're interested in pursuing further so i'm really i'm really proud about that so i did mention when i was you know talking about me coming back and what were the reasons that made me take a break from YouTube? And one of the reasons was that I was in a transition phase, you know, getting to a new job. So I've been able to uh, see some career growth. I've been able to learn some lessons uh, in difficult situations. So this year has shown me some ugly things eh? some bad things eh? some difficult things but in that process um i'm glad that i've been able to pick some lessons that matter and i hope to carry them you know moving forward in my life you know whether it's dealing with uh uh depression dealing with uh you know sometimes even you know the end of relationships the end of friendship so i've been able to learn lessons in difficult situations you know just getting to know who are your true friends who are the people who will always be there for you when you're going through good and bad times so those are the lessons that i've been able to learn this year in the various difficult seasons that uh, i have faced the final win huh? and this is something that i began doing serious research when the year was beginning so one of the things I actually wish I was taught in school is finances, basically how to manage finances. I wish someone taught me that, eh? but uh, I think I was only taught how to <laughs> to make money and to look for money, but I was not taught how to manage the money, but I'm not complaining. So uh, when the year began, I was doing a lot of research, you know, just to figure out my finances, you know, what are the options? You know what are you supposed to do what are the disciplinary measures you should i put in my life you know is it budgeting is it cutting cost you know is it tracking my expenses these are lessons that you know i'll be learning this year and putting some of those in practice uh maybe when i get to a level where i feel that i'm competent enough to talk about that maybe i'll do a video and just tell you how now i've been I'm repurposing or re-strategizing how I was managing my finances. So I'm glad that 2021 has clearly brought that out. I think 
2021 i have just focused on now you know getting the necessary knowledge that i need to to be able to manage my finances better i mean i'm not a financial guru disclaimer i am not a financial guru i'm learning along the way so now we go to the most difficult part you know life is made of both good and bad times so on the downside so i've been able to share with you the upsides of 2021 but uh there has been the downsides as well huh? there has been the difficult and ugly ugly seasons uh in my life in the year 2021 and number one let me just speak um let me just try to be vulnerable here because in this channel i want to promote authenticity being real i'm not trying to paint this perfect picture oh my life is good you know i never face challenges i'm strong you know i'm always positive and hopeful no that is not the message i want us to be real here to be very human to be very personal if we can be and uh so i want to be vulnerable for a moment so when this year began it began I would say on a high note for me between january and february it began on on a high note i would say i mean you know you you began the year well thanking god you set your goals for the year and you continue doing your job diligently but along the way and i can't really pinpoint exactly what happened but i remember just getting into this ugly ugly mental space eh? I, I i can't remember i I think it's sometimes you just get this cloud of darkness over you. So I was in touch for about, I think, for the um, end of January, start of February. I was in that space. Yeah? And even the beginning of March, I was in that space where I felt that I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I'm not joyful. Not even happy. Happiness is not the word. Eh? I'm not joyful. I feel like this you know sometimes when you feel like there's something bad or something bad is about to happen but you don't really know what it is so that's how i felt and i remember i used to not even know to go out i'd stay even for a month in the house i would stay even for almost you know two months in the house without going out and i don't even feel the urge to want to go out i'll just work from my bedroom from my bed you know i'll just wake up take the laptop and continue working end the day you know eat take a shower go back to bed and now that i look back i think it was depression i don't know i really do not know what caused it in that very ugly mental space um that was not really good but now i thank god that mentally i'm not where i was back then at least i'm ending um the year in a good mental space then after that i, I lost a loved one after um I don't know after after that ugly mental space uh sometime in march i lost a loved one a very person close to my heart and that's my mom and that again now took me to a griefing period and grief god grief i, I mean losing someone is the i think the most painful thing that has happened to me so far in life i mean leave alone what are these breakups or whatever losing someone especially someone you care so much deeply for when that person's dying nobody prepares you for that pain actually nobody tells you that pain is going to be difficult by the way people are just there telling you oh you know condolences you know we are sorry may she rest in peace losing a loved one is so painful I remember at some point i felt like my heart was being butchered like for real someone had a spear and they were just piercing through my heart that has been so painful i actually i honestly don't even know how i've been able to to come out of that uh it's it's about nine months down the line now i don't know how i've been able to come out of that i don't know whether i've been able to overcome depression or i'm still dealing with it but there are some moments when it gets it hits you again the sometimes when you're just in your normal day activities oh and you just remember and and again it hits you over and over again so but uh in dealing with that i was able to go for therapy again i think this is should be a win uh going to therapy 
um so i went to therapy to deal with um grief and i loved the experience of going to therapy of course there are a few things here and there that i didn't really like but um for the better part of it i loved it and um i think for the coming year going for therapy is something that i'm um, i'm hoping to to do as well in 2022 like a car once in a while you always have to take yourself to the garage just for some maintenance you need to do that for your mental and for your emotional well-being as well therapy is something that i'm sure going to carry forward and that's a win going for therapy guys it takes a lot it takes a lot for someone who's not going who is not used to go for therapy and someone who considers herself strong to actually agree i have a problem and i have to look for a solution for it i've had also I've, i said that one of the win was getting opportunities which is true but the converse is also true i've lost numerous opportunities this year wow hey you see those opportunities that you think are just dangling eh? dangling eh? dangling dangling not sure whether you're going to hold it or not eh? so i've lost so many of those as well but i do not really regret there's a time i applied even for a fellowship hmm, i didn't get it which is okay which is fine because i believe that you know what what is mine will always be mine it will always come and get me and what is not mine will not even dare to come close to me so when i'm dealing with the loss and it's raw and fresh maybe i'm not usually in this mental space to share you know it's okay what is mine is mine you know what is mine will always come close to me and what is not mine will never come close to me but uh, i think always in hindsight now looking back i think i'm grateful i'm grateful i didn't get those opportunities i'm happy i am happy i didn't get them i am happy for all the rejects i get i am happy for all the disappointments i get and i thank god and i think sometimes i read this post that rebecca don rebecca don if you don't know rebecca don you remember that uh mzungu who sings in swahili natamani kutembe that lady never mind my singing voice i clearly am not talented in singing so i saw her post that uh, she put on instagram it's here the post there if you want to see it she said that sometimes we only think that answered prayers as the prayers that god has answered with a yes but she says eh, sometimes even the answered prayer comes in a no so you know what looking back i am thanking god for all the no's i've gotten this year because while on that side I was getting the no, there are other sides eh, that I was getting yes, and those are the sides that God was intending me to, you know, to go to. It's the path that God wanted me to take. So no regrets about that. In fact, I'm so grateful that, you know, sometimes you pray for something, you want something, but God knows what you need. So I'm glad that God gave me what, uh, uh, you know, I need and not really what um, I wanted. So that is my 2021 uh, in a nutshell, sharing my wins and losses. Guys, I hope you get to share your wins and losses eh? on the comment section. Let's have an interaction, guys. You know, how has your 2021 been? You know, has this sparked something, you know, within you to just basically take a look at your year and uh, analyze how things have gone, uh, you know, for you and um, help you to re-strategize for 2021. So what I'm actually planning to do is do a 2022 yeah a 2022 vision board basically looking at this year wh what are the wins i got you know what are the areas that i still need to work on then develop a vision board from from that thank you for watching this video guys i hope you leave a comment and you also like this video and also why don't you share it with your friends i mean why not why not why not